Welcome or welcome back on C-Squared. In this video clip, we're going to look to conditional and biconditional statement in logic theory. So, if you watched the previous video of your previous lesson, we had a statement like this. This is what we call a conditional statement. If, then. This is the symbol. The first part is called the antecedent, the second part consequent. It is good to remember, it's very important the order in this statement. And now we're going to develop of two table using some example, right? This is the original statement, right? If you clean the room, then you can watch the TV. Notice that is a true statement, that's the original statement. But what's happened if P is true and Q is false, right? Uh, you clean your room and you can watch the TV. That means if I promise you that, you, you are my child, and I promise you that, that means it's false, very important, right? The third one, this one is the one that some people look uh, and get a little bit confused. P is false, Q is true, then P, then Q is true. What do I mean by that? You do not clean your room, but you still watch the TV. Okay, I still keep my promise, so that's the reason it is true. And the last one, P is false, you don't clean the room. Uh, you cannot watch the TV. I, keep, I still keep my promise, right? Uh, so this is the true statement. So obviously this is the, 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 the true table for conditional statements. The only one that is false is this one. When the antecedent is true and the consequent is false. So remember this type of uh, situation. Okay, so now we're going to construct a simple table of non p non p then q okay for a while i will suggest you to keep table handy right and remember this equation and you should be fine p q then let's put us to the all the choices true true false false by now you i think you should remember this we have all the possible choices here right so, Okay, and non p now. Non p that means we're going to look to this column and we're going to negate false, false, true, true, right? So the opposite of p. And now we can do non p and q. Now it's very important to understand you look first to this column. Let me change the column. We're going to look first this column first, and then we're going to look to the Q column, right? And again, like I said here, you may want to start look for true and false. So we have here two truths, which one is false in the other column? This one. Eh? This is the only one that is false. And the other one should be true. Okay. Pretty much that, that is for this problem, a very simple uh, conditional statement. Eh? Let's take a look at one more example. If you notice here, we have P, Q, and R. P, Q, and R. Right. So here, if you remember, we have a lot more choices. True, true, true. False, 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 false. True, false. No, no. Let's, let's be consistent. Uh, true, true, false, false. True, true, false, false. True, false, true, false. True, false, true, false. Okay, so those are the choices we have for a um, compound statement with three. Uh, statements in it. Okay, so now obviously here we're going to do P, and if you remember this one, is P and Q, right? So what do you remember about this uh, P and Q? Okay, look at this, on P and Q, the only one that is true, one is both are true. So we're going to look to these two columns, the order is not important, right? In this same one, and we look for both true. Okay, so we have one time here and one time here, and I think that's it. Yeah, 
that's it so that will be true that will be true the other are going to be false okay now in this column I will negate the previous column all right so now I'm looking to this column and I will do the opposite right false false true 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 and true and now we can do the last thing in our uh, problem non p and q then i okay so now we're going to need to take this table and the easy way like i said look to this guy but don't forget the anti seven this one needs to be true so we're looking for true and false okay that's is this guy you see here true and false that will be false 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 and a lot of false statements here true and false false true and false false true false and true right false and true so now this one you need to be careful it's false and true you have this situation this will be true okay and false and true that will be true okay so we have six false two truths and that's it about this table suggestion create columns create columns until you get to the final answer i know that you can get a little bit lost in this table okay now let's take a look to some very good friends of p then q uh, which is this one right in our case let's say this one is the original statement this one right which will is a true statement if it rains then our clouds in, in the sky right if you notice in this one we switch them right this guy went here and this guy went here that's the reason i have this symbol right um, so this was true okay let's take a look at this one if there are clouds in the sky then it rains and that's not necessarily true right it can be cloudy and no rain so false this one here if you take a look is the same like this the other one right we have rain in the first part clouds in the second part but we have not so these are the opposite this is the opposite of the original statement non p then non q if it does not rain there are no clouds in the sky so what do you think about this one is that a true statement mm, no it, it's a false right if it doesn't rain it doesn't mean we do not have clouds it can be a cloudy day um, and the last one right the last one if there are not clouds in the sky then it does not rain so if you notice this one is kind of similar with this one from the order the problem the only difference is the negation right non p uh, then non non q then non p okay and this one is true right if there are not clouds in the sky then it does not rain right okay we have some name here this, this that was the original same one when you flip them we call converse when you not then the original statement we have the inverse and the last choice when we switch them and not them we have the contra positive and um, now you see a true table I construct for all these possible choices and if you notice here this was true and this was true based on our feeling and this was false and false that should give you an idea that uh, what these two columns go together right so uh, the converse and the inverse and these two columns goes together we call them equivalent statement right if p and q is p then q is true q then p is true also if uh, q 
then p is false, then uh, okay, this one should also be non p, non q. This is false also. Okay, so very important to look to the uh, equivalent state. Okay, now let's go to the last part, which is the bicondition statement. You notice here the sign is similar, however, it shows us both direction. You can play Saturday if and only if you train this week. And I mentioned in a previous video clip that goes both ways. If you you can you can play Saturday if you train, and the other way if you train you play Saturday. Okay, and uh, you notice here I said. Uh, the equivalent statement for that by condition looks very interesting, right? But that's it, it means P, then Q, and Q and P. Both needs to be true. So I did a true table here, right? Uh, P and Q, Q and P, and then I put them together here with the end. So this is the true table for, for the by condition. Uh, so how do you remember? Very easy. If both are true, the bike conditional is true. Both are false. The uh, bike conditional is true. Okay, a little bit different than conditional, but that's the way you may want to remember. Okay, so now we can build a table. And again, I brought these two tables together so we can use them. Again, we have three statements, so if you remember, we should have eight possible choices. True, 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 false, 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 false. Okay, true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false. True and false, true and false, true and false, true and false. Okay, so now we have all the choices. And if you remember, I suggest you to start with parentheses first, Q or R, right? This one here, which is what? We want to look for the one that is F and F, right? And that will be false. Q and R, these two columns, where do we see F and F? Okay, we see here. So that will be false. We see here also. That will be false, and that's it. The other are true. Okay, then we're gonna negate that guy. So we're looking to this column, looking to this column, and we're gonna negate. So we got true becomes false, true becomes false, false, true, false, 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 and true. And now we can do the last part, P, if and only if, non, Q, or R. Okay, so now here, what are we looking for? Looking at this table, let me change the color, and let's take a green. And if both are true or both are false, that is true. So we look into this column. And in fact, very important, look into this column first. But in fact, it really doesn't matter because you look for both rules. Um, so scanning, oh, look at here, true and true. That means it will be true. False and false, that will be true. Okay, another false and false, that will be true. False and false, that will be true. And that's it. The other one, false, false. False, false, false. That, that is the table for this uh, my conditional statement. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click like button. All right, and come back and see Square for more math video clips. Thank you.